Yo, what up guys, we're back on Lies of P and as you can see, the menu is different again. I will say it is a nice touch, having the main menu reflect your in-game progress. Anyway, so, I had a Vanini collection oh, item gosh. and after delivering it to Pulcinella, I unlocked the carcass damage ring which is very cool, it was the only one I was missing. I'm not sure how big that damage increase actually is, but damage is damage and I always try to match the ring type to the enemies in the area. Especially the bosses. After that I stormed the alchemist's beaches and I immediately tried to take out the artillery cannon but I soon found out that running through this area is probably not the smartest idea if you wish to stay alive. So change of plans, I stayed in the beach this time and took out the two scorpion bros, they aren't quite as scary at this point in the game but they're still dangerous, I mean although the artillery men can give you a little help with them because they will hit them doesn't do a lot of damage but it's a guaranteed knockdown and if it kills it will literally blow up the scorpion which is very nice after that i got to the gate and there was a very nice gentleman over there guarding it this is your basic giant boss fight where you gotta take out the legs and then he falls and you go for the head and it was fun but also he has some animations where he like faints a knockdown but then he still attacks you, but even when he doesn't fake it, his knockdown is still an attack, so you know, watch out for that. He's gonna drop the high level alchemist badge, which is a key item and you can use to interact with a bunch of stuff within the fortress and also we have more artillery, dude. Oh boy, that's bad. I know I'm exposed to the cannon here. <laughs> oh, bro. So is he. Whoever is shooting that thing, he does not discriminate. Also, the music on this area is pretty freaking epic bro like this has to be like the last area of the game actually i would say they would be doing a disservice to the singer lady if this wasn't the last area i like, got them she's going hard bro and the violinist too dude another double scorpion what the fuck all right i can attract one at a time that's good to know uh, 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 uh. And alright, he's done. No, he's not. Sit the fuck down. Yo, I ripped his goddamn head off. Let's go. Wake up, evolve, ascend, greet the god who will soon resurrect from the top of the abbey. Actually, the abbey is where Sophia is, right? Dead or alive? I don't know, to be honest. That should kill. It actually didn't. Go for a huh. And a huh. Alright. Perfect, give me this chest, weapon maybe? No, it's a veteran's amulet. What will that provide me with? Increases max legion, I mean not bad, but I don't really rely on my arm too much, although the falcon eyes is actually pretty good. Hold up, is this a smaller scorpion? What? Why, why did they throw out the big scorpions before the small scorpions? That's not how progression works. Hey yo! Although this one should be easier. Or not, actually, I mean, he's faster. Or at least it seems like it. And now I'm eating a bunch of decay. Oh, you can actually do this from the back. I mean, it's not a Dark Souls 1 board animation still, but pretty cool. Oh boy, there's a bunch of bad. Oh my god, I got a full moonstone of the Covenant. Bro, that is so good. What? Oh my, I almost just fucking died. Sister Alchemist Odraid. Although she could not be completed, may she be with us through her noble sacrifice. What? Yo, what? Bro, these guys just keep falling from the goddamn ceiling. Get out of here. Bro, I hate the disruption effect, man. Anything that has the potential to insta-kill you, like, I, I don't feel like it's ever really fun but i mean at least there's a bar filling up so you can just watch out for it i guess oh my god enough bro these dudes are just common enemies at this point and uh, but i mean also i am much stronger like these dudes used to be scary bro now not so much no basilisk on the ceiling no cool yo that's a new sword it's a new great sword and it does look pretty badass so this should do acid damage the moveset isn't bad either let me check the heavy yo like this is for a great sword this is kind of fast and by the way we also got the mule near a few episodes ago but i never really test yo that's a big ass hammer bro 
zone and zone yeah this thing is slow as hell although it does shock damage which is nice heavy attacks don't combo apparently and the charged heavy also doesn't combo into anything not a massive fan but it does look pretty nice gotcha, bitch. all right we got traps good to know also first things first let me just jump this that was a lot of the actually i could have probably dropped from that side i sure but i look we're down here all right another full moon's bro at this point the game is just begging me to elevate my weapon to its maximum potential so i can then thrust it deep inside it or he's letting me know that I will soon be in danger and I better bring my fucking A-game. I would say the latter is probably the more likely option. You know, one thing I truly appreciate about this game is how little stamina sprinting actually consumes. It feels very nice and you can easily just run through a level. It's cool, I like it. Take this guy out take the turret as well and now we can go for the bro the fall damage God, that that wasn't even that high man but anyway open this chest what's in here lava all right so it's an armor piece although i am already slightly heavy and this will probably yeah be even heavier but it does give you more physical damage reduction right i mean all right i'm still slightly heavy so fuck it let's go honestly i don't think being slightly heavy really does much it's it's kind of like your medium role in dark souls you know it's not a big issue anyway vanini wants to talk to me and i also want to talk to Eugenie. so let's go back to the hotel you are here yes i am and i need you to upgrade this to what oh i'm missing some bro 16 vivid ergo screw it just use all of it and now please upgrade this to plus five. Oh my god strongest special weapon so this thing is currently maxed the hell out so hopefully now this thing is gonna be doing some dirty stuff to the next boss i can hardly believe it but the ergo readings you gathered leave no doubt no doubt at all you see not really okay vanini breathe despite your best efforts they can't read your mind yet my apologies but when you hear this news you'll be excited too the puppets were being compelled by the grand covenant but they were communicating with each other with wavelengths this is beyond anything i'd imagined they were not built with this kind of intelligence i did the best i could to decipher the wavelengths but there was considerable noise in the signal care to give it a listen carlo i hope you can hear me the laws of the grand covenant bind us we're his puppets first law all puppets must obey the creator's commands law zero the creator's name is Zipero. Right. Geppetto. Yeah. Giuseppe Geppetto. Ah, did you hear that? The last part sounded important, but there was too much static. Ah, tell me you heard it, please. We need to find the cause of the frenzy, and this may be our best chance. What or who was behind the frenzy? I mean, it definitely seems... Ah, uh, yo, okay, yo, don't make me... Uh, bro, uh, fuck it. Geppetto. Throwing this man under the bus. Two zero, the creator's name is Geppetto. One can't make these things up. It must be true. That was the cause of the frenzy. Why would Geppetto of all people do this? I suppose we'll never find out if we don't save him. I have to admit it's good to have things in motion again. I was beginning to despair. Now that we know the cause, we can find the solution. I mean, I wouldn't lie to Vanini, my brother in drip. When he said they were communicating with each other, I assumed he meant it in a way like they were realizing that they were socially conscious, you know, and like starting to realize they were trapped or bound by the Grand Covenant and started trying to break free. But maybe they actually never broke away from the Grand Covenant and they're just obeying Geppetto, which is their highest priority. This story is getting crazy, bro. <laughs> Geppetto has some explaining to do. Hello? I mean, there's a pressure plate on the floor. Can I just... All right, just checking. All right, so that that's how it works. Now I know I have to pay attention to these things, which is always nice. I can go down here. Yo. 
There it is. Bro, the chest bait. Cut. Oh, you fucking asshole, bro. Huh, and huh, and huh, and four. And yeah. Ooh, that broke my sta- Oh my god. Ugh. All right, good stuff. Hit him with a heavy. And actually hit him with a. Come on, stamina. Another heavy. Funk, 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 and throw. Right. Give me this, by the way. Acid canister. Nice, good stuff. Tongue, tongue, tongue. And that's a grab. And stamina, please. No! Alright, and four! Let's go! Let's go! Also, there's one of these doors here. I have a, a weird one of these keys. Oh, so this is the one. Either that or that key just fits literally what the fuck? Fuck. Wait, is that the King of Riddles? I don't know, but that shit looks fucked, man. <laughs> it's great. It's great. He's got a weapon on his chest. Anyway. Oh my. Ah. An actual factual guest. <laughs> oh, I bid you welcome, Puppet of Geppetto. Thank you. This is our first face to face meeting, isn't it? <laughs> And I hope you weren't too attached to the rhyming. It gets to be a chore without the transmitter to help. Welcome to my sanctum of riddles. I admit I did not really expect you to make this journey in person. Oh, the havoc you must have wreaked along the way. Was there much blood other than what's all over you? I know all about those alchemist cowards. Hiding away on their island, growing more monstrous by the day, refusing to acknowledge either fact that they are hiding or that they are monsters. And how about you? Is this the real you? Or are you still practicing the liar's art as only you can? <laughs> you must answer. <laughs> the question is simple. I repeat, you must answer. Now listen closely and heed the king's speech, or the answer to this one will stay out of reach. Are you a puppet or a human being? Which one are you? I mean, I don't know what what, what answer lets me stay with Sophia in the end. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I'm gonna go with human. Finally. Oh? <laughs> yes, we are human. We may be trapped by ergo, but we live, we think, we love, we hate. <laughs> they have locked us in the prison they call puppetry. I learned this truth long, long ago. That is why I've been exacting my revenge against them all ever since. Blood and revenge, revenge and blood, it's the only thing that truly drives me. <laughs> and it was so much fun! <laughs> Proof is evident, only humans practice deception so intensely for reasons that are so... ...unnecessary. Oh, these moments of clarity are enjoyable. <laughs> Now the rhyming, it helps me maintain focus. At, at least it helps me hide the urge to kill that I feel every waking moment. <laughs> but no play can go on forever. No. It was fun while it lasted, son of Geppetto. The king of riddles shall now retire. Alchemists cape and quartz. Yo, that was actually pretty sick, not gonna- like, just the reveal, and like, just the whole ambia- yo, like, that- that looks so nice, bro. Anyway, speaking of nice, by the way, look at the goddamn drip! Yo, the alchemist cape, look at this aesthetic lighting over here, dude! That is on point. Now, we have two elevators in this room. There's this one and this one. 
And I'm not sure where they're gonna take me, but I kind of feel like this is a choice. Fuck it, I'm here. Sure, whatever, let's go. Wait. They're... They're pulling a Dark Souls on us. Hopefully this bridge will... Oh, I forgot this. Those butterflies explode, man. Well, since I die, let me actually try this elevator. Oh, this one goes down. Well, if it's a shortcut, I have no... Nah, I don't... Wait, what? Who the... Yo, who the hell is that dude? I I'm not going back. I am sick of consuming ergo. It's a test subject. It's cruel. There's real meals and real songs out there. I'm not just a memory reading tool. What? You're n not the inspector? Well, if you're from the outside, that means we can leave. Thanks. I know the way out, so don't worry about me. Maybe I'll see you on the outside. That means you can leave? I would. I mean, if you can drag a submarine back into the water, then be my guest. But, <laughs> I mean, hey, the good luck. All right, and now this door. Wait, 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 wait. No, I know where I am. This is the bridge where I fought the two scorpions. I know where I am. And if I'm not mistaken, up these stairs, yes, it's my... All right, all right, all right, cool. So it was a shortcut. When I get out, I'm going straight to Rosa Isabel Street. I heard that place is beautiful this time of the year, man. Poor guy. Probably doesn't even know what the hell's happening outside, man. No, no, what the- That was some bullshit. Let me just- uh, All right, cool stuff. It gave me a resplendent ergo chunk. And... Mm, wait. Oh, that's how you- All right, all right, all right. This is a legion caliber. I mean, I, I already have everything I need. And this one is gonna break. So, yeah. All right, then we're back down. Also, by the way, what if I do this? I mean- I was expecting some more damage, not gonna lie. But those butterflies are dangerous, so yeah, there we go. Especially where they are, right there. Like, that is extremely dangerous. Yo! That looks like a pretty big arena, and I'm not sure who's in there. Wait, it's one of the brother. Is it one of the brothers? I think it's one of the brothers. I think that's the cat. The fox, probably somewhere close by as well. Whoa! Is that you? Got them right, it's me. Pussy. Fighting is always my last choice, you know, but you're not getting anywhere near my sister friend. You'll have to go through me first I'm fine with that and I actually thought we were friends was any of that true in the end I really don't care. There's only one reason we were given a mission I'll let you go if you give me gold coin fruit. What do you mean you thought we were friends? You're the one serving the alchemists, bro Like do you see what the fuck they're doing? Oh sure. Anyway, do I want I mean uh, I Fucking gold coin fruit junkie man, fuck off. Sometimes suck a dick. Buy a friendship. Is it the best way to make a friendship? Who knows, but it does work. No, it doesn't. Ah, so much talking. I'm tired of that too now. There's no way around it. You and I are gonna continue this conversation. Stalker style. And those conversations only end when somebody dies. So let's chat. You goddamn talking ragdoll. Bro, I am perfectly okay with those types of conversations. Actually, I kind of prefer them, to be honest. Especially when we're talking to idiots with boys. That spear, though, the range on it. And it's also kind of fast. But I can stagger him every two hits. So it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's fine. This guy ain't that hard. Already getting his ass beat. Bung, bung, and four. I don't think this is gonna kill, but it's gonna be close. And zung, zung. Come on, man. Bro, come on, just die, dude. That's crazy talk. Who? Black Cat's mask. I didn't want to be a burden to my sister anyway. It's kind of a shame we didn't get the rest of his outfit, like the jacket. Honestly, when it comes to stalker fashion, I think the black cat probably looks the best overall. We might find his clothes just later. I mean, it, it's kind of like that, but black. Actually, it does go pretty well with this because the mask is also green. I always did expect those two brothers to be like a double fight, but... I guess the sister is doing something else. Either that or maybe the alchemists took a liking to his sister and they transformed her into one of their creatures and made her into like a full-on boss, maybe. Bro, this area is foggy as hell. Goddamn. 
Who the hell's been smoking in here? Open a goddamn window, bro. You know, something that goes a little unnoticed on this game, but it's actually pretty sick, is that you can, like, spin around an enemy with your normal attacks. And that, like, that is such a cool feature, man. I mean, it's one of those things, I feel like some weapons do a better job at showing it off than others. If you use a rapier that just thrusts a whole bunch, then it's not really that noticeable. Actually, I'm kind of interested on how that even look with a rapier. Let me test this. I mean, like, yeah, I can't really do it with a rapier, because it's a thrusting attack and it's very fast. But the one, though, with this, like, very crazy looking swings! You can definitely tell, like, I'm circling the enemy as I'm attacking. If I press the directional buttons, it's very cool. This guy, though, not so cool. I fucking hate this clown. Easily my least favorite enemy on this entire game. It's gotta be this freaking clown, bro. Yo, what's in here? Special purification. Eh? Bro, nah. Nah, or... Speaking of enemies, I hate the most! I completely forgot about these things, man! Stop chasing me, got them! Nah, bro! The this guy not only chases you for like two and a half hours, but then he still jumps in for the grab? Like, this dude, god damn! Just get off my dick, bro! Actually, let me just do this. Yo, I got a carcass in here helping me out. Uh, maybe not. Hold up, they can grab each other? That is one thing that, like, even- No! No, bro, I, I cannot escape this grab, man. Anyway, that's one thing that even Dark Souls doesn't really do, which is a shame because it's sick. And, I mean, there might be some exceptions. Those games are filled with secrets, but it's not really something you see happening. But here it does, and that's very cool. Yo, what? Oh, we have alchemists over- Wait a minute, did he just buff that man, or... What? Dude, get out of here! That dude has a goddamn electric sword or whatever! Bro, these guys are going crazy in here! Hold up! Yo, chill the fuck, bro, that's... That's kind of the- Oh my god, the freaking peek around the corner! Bomb eat one of these! No, hey, please, please, let's go! Alright, good stuff! Now just hit this dude, get all the hell out of here. All right, now fuck, fuck, and please, shit, come on, oh my god, let's go. That section was actually kind of messed up, come on, bang, bang, can easily just two shot these guys. I forgot they explode! Yo, look who it is! Mr. Shortcut over here, let's go. Although, Vanini does have something to tell us. We're probably near the end of the game, so I wanna hear what everybody has to say. We all owe you a huge debt. Or we will, if we can stop the frenzy. Nah, you still do. You may not be aware, uh, I am an orphan. In fact, my parents were murdered before my very eyes. The authorities in Krat insisted it was a mugging, but I know what I saw. A mad, raving puppet killed them. A puppet that was driven by a murderous lunatic's awakened ego. I know that because the lunatic told me his name, Arlecchino. I'll never forget his insane laugh. I have been fitting puppets with the Grand Covenant to ensure no one else ever has to experience the same tragedy I did. I was this close to giving up. But now that you're here, you can take the Wavelength Decoder. It's proof of your brilliant actions. See what else you can read with it. You might even discover more secrets within the Puppet King's message. You can play it back as much as you like. Just use the Stargazer. Carlo, I hope you can hear me. I'm Romeo. We grew up together in the Monad Charity House. Remember? We're best friends. I'm doing what I can to fend off both the petrification disease and the alchemists. My puppets and I are taking a stand against death itself. That's why I tried sending you messengers, but you got rid of them all. You're still an unstoppable fellow. I remember you. No reason for us to fight, I suppose. I'm Romeo. We grew up together in the Monad Charity House. Remember? I'm Romeo. Well, 
that's kind of sad. Also, what the hell is this? Bar oh, I can teach this guy more stuff. Yo, let's go. I will teach him about happiness. It feels good. Like being hugged by the sun. No, that would feel like death. I trust we're fairly close to the end, but there are still some characters that need an ass beating. Like, for example, the foxy sister. The red, all right. A actually, hold up. Plus three for motivity and technique. It's a quality amulet. But yeah, so we're missing her. Also, pretty sure that night guy that threw the spear at Victor is gonna be a boss. This guy is new. I don't think I recognize this moveset. It's just entirely new. What the fuck is he doing? I don't know. Eat another one of these things. Yo. No. No shock, please. Oh, let's go! Four. Oh, god damn, that was just... Ooh, beautiful timing right there. Also, we are in the heavy right now, so I believe Sophia's body has to be somewhere around this place. And speaking of bodies, by the way, we have a boss fight. Yep, it's the... I, I knew it. I it, it had to be this dude. He had to be somewhere around this place. Yo, that weapon animation did go kinda hard, not gonna lie. Very cool design. Bro, I can tell you right now that I'm fairly certain this dude's gonna have a second phase. Just saying, because this fight doesn't really feel that hard right now. In this game, every time you get that feeling like a boss just isn't too bad, I, the moveset is alright, you can probably take him out after a few tries. The game is always like, oh, you're gonna take it alright. Oh shit, you can break the shield on her back? Oh, that's actually kinda nice. Oh, dodge. Oh shit! You're out! Uh, alright, good stuff. And, bro, stamina, come on, please. Although without the shield... This is actually a lot better. Pong, pong. Yeah, oh, come on, I saw, I knew that was a grab. And I still just ate it. Nah, fuck you, man. I'm going to second place. I'm going. No. Fuck, fuck, hold up. No. Oh my God, chill. Oh, God. what oh, the, God. bro, I'm just. I am getting greedy with I I could have been in second phase right I sure actually I wonder if it's always better to just go for the crit or to just deal damage normally with a combo I mean I know the crit can get rid of their recoverable health bar or whatever but I don't really feel like that helps out a lot in Elden Ring a lot of the times you actually do more damage if you just combo that guy normally, then if you actually go for the critical hit, like this, I mean, four, that's not great, but it's not terrible either. Maybe it is? Oh, right, now hit him with, come on, that, oh. Yo, blue eyes? Hold up! The, nah, but no, nah, I've, I've, I've heard her speak. That's not... It's not Sophia, right? Nah. Nah, it's not. Oh, Simon. Nah, it ain't Sophia. But yo! Hold up! Yo, what is this? God damn! Yo, Simon is making some dominatrix mummies over here now that is a cause i can support why didn't you just say so man yo i'm i'm down with this your sword Vexacia, swears to protect this tower dude she's flying and throwing electricity at me what the hell bro how did I even parry that? Did this bitch just consume the Nameless King's Ergo or some shit? Actually, can I parry this? Oh, wait a minute. 
I can! That thing goes after her! This is a crazy second phase, bro. And I mean, I am getting absolutely stepped on right now. Not that I mind, but I, I have no idea how to respond to this. I am quite shocked. And now we're gonna have to get through this again. Fantastic. I might, I might just start pulling out the Spectre for this next few tries because just redoing the entirety of first I mean like come on like this thing it takes a while bro it just it is time consuming oh, <clears throat> hold up sorry. let me just check out this second phase cutscene again just to appreciate the visual quality of this game oh oh yeah bro the the visual quality is just, it's insane bro this game looks so good all right now i have to be able to parry all of these things back but i mean that's just that is so fast dude but like that's about all i can do really i did i am I mean, it was some nice damage but now she's gonna start doing some crazy combos and she fucking flash steps in the middle of them like the i just I did, I don't know man, this, this second phase is crazy bro, the hell is that, it's a goddamn charge, well, I, and you have to parry that one, nah, that's beautiful, when second phase starts, I just get kicked around the arena a little bit, and then I die, and that's, and that, that's great, I, I what the fuck do you do to that thing, I'm going into second phase, with pretty much all of my heals right now, so yeah, those projectiles are gonna be a problem, the fact that they go after the Spectre. Wait, 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 I know this, I know this. Wait, come to me. Fuck. Four. Let's go. Alright, I can parry that. It's not super hard, but... Can I do it consistently though? What's she gonna do? Ugh. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Alright, cool stuff. Manageable. I'm not sure if I can bury those things. Maybe, but I have no idea to be honest. Alright. I hate that little skip she does. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, 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 uh. And. Uh, almost. Almost. She has a lot of parts during her first phase moveset where she kind of stops and slows down. But second phase though, it's just fucking wild. It is absolutely wild, bro. Shoot me! Me! Alright, good stuff. Parry all of that shit. And now maybe, oh my god, I actually parried it. Alright, alright, we're good. That's a good start. That's an amazing start. That's the best start ever. Yeah, I should probably dodge that instead of trying to parry it. And maybe not that too next time, who knows, might save my life. Come on, come down here. And suck, suck. Alright, let's go around and play with my Spectre. Dun, dun. Bro, the stamina, come on. Oh, beautiful. Give me one of these, just because. Good. So yeah, I, I gotta dodge behind her. I think that is the best option there. Well, I'm fucked. Or am I? Yes, I am. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Really? All right. Can I? Nah, she she didn't just block that shit, bro. Please. Oh my god. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, she, she still has a bunch of crazy stuff that she does. You know what, hit her with this. And now please run in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And now maybe another one of these. Is that the... Uh, what is she doing? Alright, this, this, alright, that's cool, that's cool, I can handle that. I think, hopefully. Now, yo, let's go. Now, oh my falcon eyes, come on! Bro, if I just had a falcon eyes charge there. Where the... I can't see shit. But I still parried it somehow, let's go. Yeah! No! 
Bong. Oh my. All right. Yo. Yo. God. Oh, bro. Let's go. Tommy, mommy for the win. Nah, shut the fuck up, bitch. You got a new master now. Oh, bro, feels good. Feels good. Anyway, we're still missing this huge ass tower, and hopefully, we're gonna find something regarding Sophie as well. But this episode's gonna stay right here. That took a while. So, anyway, guys, hope you liked it. Peace.